Hello guys, as promised, I am here, Women of Substance, welcome to all of those who are here, you know, and all of those who are about to come in. Um, bear with me whilst I share this post. Today we're going to be talking about being your authentic self. Um, being you, the true you, we're going to talk about leadership. Um, thank you for inviting me, Women of Substance, to be here and share this wonderful message with you. At the moment, I am not um, at my best because I've just lost a very important person in my life. But um, as, as they say, you have to move on and um, you have to take it with the chin. People have to move on. So yes, yeah, so bear with me whilst I... I share this broadcast. Welcome for, um, to all those new members and welcome to the, the members that are uh, already there. We've been with the Women of Substance, you know. Um, yes, so today we're going to be talking about being your authentic self. What is your authentic self? Who are you? You know, um, besides everyone else around you, you should always be yourself, always learn to be yourself and always understand that not everyone's going to be like you. And, you know, so um, in sharing, if you can all, you know, share these broadcasts live that whoever needs it, please share um, or just, you know, just um, make a comment. We'll welcome people with any comments. You know, so being your authentic self, who are you, who am I, it is about you knowing that not everyone is supposed to be you. You're different from everyone else. And your purpose in life is different from everyone else. You need to um, understand that your value is valuable and it's different to, oh sorry about that, my phone was ringing. Your value is different to everyone else and your, va your value is also needed regardless of what situation of what position you're in you know to um yesterday yesterday or two yes yesterday the day before yesterday i think it was yesterday i lost a very important woman in my life she was my mentor um she she usually she always had time for me she died in india so what happens if your mentor dies what happens if something happens to that person who you thought that can always be there for you. You should always learn to deal with situations yourself and learn when someone teaches you something, learn to keep that. Um, bear with me, guys, whilst I share this. When someone gives you something, learn to keep that with your um, with yourself. Learn to keep that within yourself and use it authentically. Use it authentically. Let people know, you know, be... Um, be the type of person that will take in information as as it's given to them, you know. So um, go on and click on follow. As I share this, as I'm sharing this, please do um, encourage. I encourage everyone to share, and those that are coming in, I encourage those to also share the broadcast. Uh, so in in. In regards to what I'm saying, you know, as a woman, you should always be a woman of substance. Um, I'm on the, I'm on the woman of substance page. Women of substance, you're always women. Oh, and also there's men here. So, um, I'm not only talking about, I'm not talking, I'm not only talking to women, but I'm also talking to men as well. You know, you should be a, a person of value in general. My mentor has passed away. Because my mentor has passed away, does that stop me? Does what does that encourage me to do? What encourages me to what this encourages me to do? It encourages me to literally understand who I am, understand that I have to hold on to the values that are in life, the values that are in life and that are provided for me. But when I'm doing so, I should do it by being my authentic self, you know. Um, my mentor was a renowned um, psychiatrist. She was a um, medical first woman, female f woman, Ugandan female woman who was a medical doctor. I understand that have actually, who is a medical doctor who has actually um, 
made a difference in the world, in the universe. She, she would always tell me, Caroline, you have to understand that not everyone has to like what you're doing. But what you need to do is to learn how to be your authentic self. You know, not everyone, don't let people stop your purpose. You know, don't let people stop your purpose. Whatever that you need to be, however you need to, to um, start feeling, it all comes down to you as a person. You know, don't value your substance on based on the likes you've got on Facebook, Twitter, um, on, on people feeding back information. Always value what you've got, the information that you're sharing, that you touch with someone always know that you you've always got the you've always got to be your authentic self you know all these filters in all these filters in um facebook all these filters in um snapchat and all of that you have to understand that there's always going to be people out there that will not compliment you regardless of the filters that you put on yourself you know regardless of the conditions that um around you so guys, as I'm saying, as I'm sitting here today, I would encourage you to pick up something, pick up something of substance, pick up something that you can give back to the universe when you, so that when you pass away, like people can say, people can actually value what you bring so that when you pass away, you can, there's something that you've left in the universe for you to actually, for people to actually appreciate who you are. You know, um, this woman was a very powerful woman. And she, she literally had time for me. You know, Dr. Margaret has always had time for me. And she, she always had time to encourage and engage with me, regardless of where she was, whether by email, Twitter, um, whether by WhatsApp. You know, she always communicated with me. So who are you going to pick up today and communicate and empower that person? What what mentors? Where are you going to start sourcing your mentors that mentors will value Oh, sorry about that. I forgot to turn off my phone. Um, people calling me. It's, who are you going to pick up, you know, to mentor? I mentor a lot of people. I mentor a lot of people right right about now in my life. But what is important is that in, what you're instilling. Are you instilling what you are authentically? Or are you instilling what you want people to see that what you are, which you're not? You know, Dr. Margaret has been so... Um, an asset to her culture her culture which she's from uganda just like myself she's been a, an asset for her culture her ugandan culture for her to just pass on right now i would have been stuck she left me so much valuable information for me to learn about how to you know go about you know just everyday life go about um situations that will hurt you or pain you and her value has been shared in the universe you know so now i want to talk about leadership what kind of leaders are we developing in today's world what kind of leadership do we need in today's world do we want leaders of convictions or do we want leaders that are just there to lead to gain something out of it no in today's world we need leaders of conviction if you don't have leaders that have conviction like uh, martin luther the king was like malcolm x was you um th these were leaders of substance leaders that were actually going to go out there and fight for their country and their community you know malcolm x was a pimp before he became what he was, he was a pimp on the road, on the street. He used to sell women. He was selling girls, you know, his own sister. Malcolm X was someone who didn't really care about anything else. But what he did, he went back and he looked at the condition in, in his environment and made a decision that, you know what, today, today, I must change what I'm thinking, my thought process. I must change my environment. He took away, he left his pimpish ways to actually um, start motivating and fighting for his community, his cause. He, he did a 160 tan without anyone telling him what to do, how to do it. He did a 160. So... Are you, are you willing to do a 160 tan regardless of who you are, your environmental circumstances, how you've been taught, how you've been groomed, like Malcolm X? Malcolm X used to sell women. He used to sleep a lot, a lot around with a lot of women. You know? But look at him now. Even in his death, 
people are still praising this man, who he is, you know. And Malcolm X used to bring young men into the movement. He did not care. He was, leadership is about developing other people to lead, not giving them that platform to also be leaders. Um, if you have these type of leaders that don't want to see other people lead and other people develop, it is those are people with insecurities you know so regardless who what caroline is where caroline is caroline is the kind of person who would want to develop another woman up to stand up and lead for the community so that's called cultural capital and take it on the next generation or the now generation you need to be involved in in um in self-development and self-progress you understand so when my my, my um mentor died God rest her soul. When she died, the minute as I got that news, my heart broke. I was like, wow, the kind of things that the cultural capital that, that this woman had for Uganda was was just absurd. You know, this cultural capital, like the substance that she gave, even across borders, even when she was living in Uganda, across borders, she will reach out to someone like me. She will set her time to reach out to someone like me. You know, she will set her time to reach out to people that needed her, irrespective of their environmental conditions, irrespective of their, sh their, their econom economical upbringing, you know, irrespective of who, how they look like, who they are. You know, in these times we have opportunities, right, to spend and use you have to utilize these opportunities. What needs to be done is people to stop thinking about people's opinions. Just take them in. You know, whether they compliment you or they do not compliment you, people's opinions only matter to a certain extent as how much you put into your heart that this opinion would matter for me or would it matter to me. You know, for me, a lot of people's opinions do not do not proceed to bring essence in my life but some of it complements what i do you know you take in what you need to take in the rest that you don't need to take in you don't need to take that in um so yeah this sunday i'm happy thank you for bringing me on this women of substance platform and women of substance we are women of substance you have to give back substance into your community that's what substance mean take time out to go and take a course take time out to go and educate yourself take time out to read you don't have to go to school institutional schools and um, buildings for you to actually self-develop yourself go and buy a course you know go and attend a seminar I, I also, I run a forum, you know, and I provide different seminars and workshop with my team. What we do, we will put out, you know, a workshop and then we'll just give it out there and then we let, we bring people that I can only um, complement to that workshop and give back the information within the community that it needs to be given, you know. So what you need to do, you, what you need to do, you don't need to do it, but what I'm advising for people to start doing is actually bring, be, sit down, reflect on what you can do and reflect on things that can bring value to your purpose, to your essence, you know. Stop watching what other people are doing. Only watch those people that are doing what they're doing not to limit you, but see that they add value. Everybody that you put in your life, make sure that they add value to your situation. Make sure that they add value to who you are, you know. And those that have passed away, I've got so many um, mentors. I've been blessed that I've got mentors and people out there that are high profile, that actually care about what I'm about and actually care to actually engage with me and see that I'm doing what I need to be doing, you know. I've got dead mentors, you know, like people like Napoleon Hill, um, people like um, T.D. Jacks, well, T.D. Jacks is still alive, people like um, um, Les Brown, you know, I've got all these mentors that I don't actually visibly see but they mentor me through workshops, through books, through other stuff, you know. And, you know, like, this is the things that we need to see and what it means. Leadership means that you can lead your community and put something in that. Or you can lead a person or the, your group and leave them with something for them to work on and develop upon. 
you know and then with leadership you give you 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 give the leadership then you let another person maintain that leadership it's like an organization it's like a company if i open up a company today i'm going to groom another person to manage my company after i groom that person to manage that company I will then open up another company in another area or another environment for that person to lead. So now what I've created as a leader is I've developed more leaders in the community to lead stuff. You know, a, a true leader does not stay, um, does not want everyone to stay beneath them so that they can lead. So let's learn how to be leaders, authentic leaders and our true self. Thank you so much, Women of Substance, and um, I shall see you next week, Sunday, the same time. So keep on moving, keep on being positive, share um, the broadcast to those that need it. So I shall speak to you very soon. Thank you for listening. Bye.